Good morning, Life Church. Today's reading is from Acts 9, 10 to 19. And this morning we read about an early Christian hero, Ananias. He's described here simply as a disciple in Damascus. He's not a church leader, an apostle, or anybody politically important. He is an ordinary disciple of Jesus, just like you and me. He's someone we can all relate to. Paul later describes him as a devout observer of the law and highly respected by all the Jews who live there in Acts 22:12. Now given Paul's background and position when he travelled to Damascus, this was high praise indeed. And we see this in verse 10 when Ananias responds to a vision from God with the words of Isaiah, Here I am, Lord. Is this how we respond to God when he speaks to us in visions, words or with a sense? How does God perceive us? Are we truly devoted following Jesus? And does this come across in a way we act, behave and in the things that we say and do? Now we don't know why Ananias was in Damascus. Perhaps he was part of the local Jewish community and had come to faith in Jesus somehow. Or maybe he had come to faith elsewhere and then fled to Damascus as part of the great scattering following Stephen's martyrdom in chapter 8. Either way, Ananias had heard of Saul, was rightly frightened of him and knew his purpose for coming to Damascus. Yet despite this, he faithfully responds to God's command to go to Saul and lay hands upon him. You know, such faithfulness in the face of the fear of persecution is extraordinary, and it typified the early church. Tertullian rightly wrote that the blood of martyrs was the seed of the church. It was upon faithfulness like Ananias' that the church grew. His faithfulness enabled Saul to see again and receive the Holy Spirit, leading to God commissioning Paul to grow the church in the Gentile world. We never know how our acts of faithfulness can impact the kingdom of God. Grady Wilson didn't know the impact his faithfulness would have on a 16-year-old Billy Graham. Yet our small acts of faithfulness can release great movements of the Holy Spirit. So let's be inspired by Ananias today and open ourselves up to God, allowing his Holy Spirit to speak to us in new ways. Let us renew again our commitment and vows before him and be willing to be faithful to him no matter how frightening it seems or strange the call appears to be, then we can play our part in enabling his kingdom come. Have a blessed day, Church.